Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a book tag. I've got my little notebook here that's got the tag in it. And this tag is called the Would You Rather tag. This was created by Bookish Drummer and I was tagged by Chaz over at Bookish Chaz. So let's go ahead and let's jump right on into these questions. Question one. Would you rather only be able to reread your favorite book once every 10 years or be forced to read your least favorite book once a year? I, who, I think I would give up rereading my favorite book um, and only be able to access it for like every 10 years because when I don't like a book, I don't like it. Like, and like currently my top number one least favorite book, I don't ever want to touch that book again. So, and I didn't even make it all the way through. I DNF'd it. So there is no way I would be able to read that book every single year. Not happening. So I will give up my favorite. Okay. <laughs> Question number two, would you rather be forced to get rid of all of your books by your favorite author or get rid of your entire library besides your favorite author. I, I would get rid of all of these books. <laughs> I, I think I would because the library is an option. It, it doesn't say I can't use the library. So if I give up all of these and I just keep my favorites because I have to downsize or something, at least I still have a way to access them. Granted, I could access my favorites as well, but... At least if I just have just my favorites, they can move around with me wherever I go. I still have ways to access other books. <laughs> Three, would you rather only be able to read very short books, less than 300 pages, or very long books, more than 700 pages? Where's the in-between? Where's like the 350 in to like... Say, like where's those 500 page books what what's going on there <laughs> what if I like that number um I'm gonna have to say I would I would keep the 700 page books I would um as much as I love a good short story and I love novellas they are also in my opinion something that takes a specific kind of skill to write and I don't think every author has that skill but I also love having all of the nitty gritty tiny details and that's what you get when you get those longer books. Yeah, sometimes they can be long and drawn out and stuff. But I really do enjoy being able to see a world like just fleshed out to its fullest potential and just seeing an author just kind of go ham for something that they've created and want everyone else to fall in love with. So I'm, I'm going to keep the bigger boys. <laughs> Question number four. Would you rather your favorite series get a terrible adaptation or never be adapted? Now, as someone who views adaptations completely separate from books, I'll take the terrible adaptation because I will find a way to love it for what it is because that is how I've always looked at adaptations. Uh, you know, like I enjoy the Rings of Power. Like I think it's, I think it's good based off of what they're even working from. I find it enjoyable. You know, is it the greatest thing out there? No, maybe not. I don't know. I enjoyed them. And so I'm fine. Like, give it a shot. See what happens. I'll find a way and a reason to, to love it just because, hey, it had the chance and it's not a remake of something that already exists. So <laughs> maybe I might be the outlier in this, but it's just because I do have a different way of looking at adaptations in general. Question number five, would you rather an unfinished series have a terrible ending or remain unfinished forever? This is an interesting question. And it's funny because Chaz and I had actually talked about this like weeks ago. And I personally would rather the series go unfinished forever. And that might be coming from a particular place within me because one of my favorite mangas of all time, Nana, will probably never get finished because the, the, the mangaka has a bunch of medical issues. That's not the word I want to use, but that's the only word coming to my head right now. But 
it's been on hiatus since their medical um, needs have changed. And I would rather it never get finished than somebody else like pick it up and finish it for her and it gets like a terrible ending or something. I would just rather what the artist created, that's where it finishes, that's where it ends. We'll never know what the artist truly wanted. And this goes for like, you know, writing books and stuff like that. Like, cause you know, authors are artists. I, I would rather remain unfinished. I would, I, that's just, that's just me. Cause yeah, <laughs> we're going to go with that. Just unfinished forever. I'll take that. Um, question number six, would you rather cut your reading time in half or cut your book buying budget in half? Okay. So hi, editing Alyssa here. Um, <laughs> I realize I misunderstood this question. Uh, cutting your time in half was not like, I don't think they didn't mean cut my reading time in half so that I could read faster. It was more like cut your reading time in half so that you would read less. So like if you already, if like, if I'm reading like 30 books a month, like I have to cut that time in half so that I don't have as much time to read. I think that's what the question was actually asking. Um, but just so you guys know, I was filming this at like one o'clock in the morning <laughs> So I misunderstood the question. We're going to, I'm going to keep the answer the way it is, but I, I misunderstood. <laughs> so as someone who has to constantly cut her book budget in half because of financial situations, I, I would, I would rather cut my book time in half. Like if I could get through books faster than what I do and I already get through them pretty fast. So I feel like I'm being greedy now when I'm like, oh, I wish I could read them all faster, even faster, faster, faster. I like, I feel like I'm being greedy. <laughs> but like cutting the budget really isn't something that like, it's not something that like really, I guess, changes anything for me because I already do that on a regular basis where I have to cut my budget. So <laughs> We're, we'll just go with cutting my reading time in half. That way I feel like I'm, I'm gaining something out of it. <laughs> Question seven. Would you rather be forced to listen to audiobooks at three times speed or listen to audiobooks at half time? Now, for those of you who don't know, half time means slower. So most audiobooks start at one speed. So half time is going backwards. So that's like 0.5 speed and so forth. And I will never listen to a book at half speed. <laughs> No, I, the highest I've ever actually gotten up to is 2.5 and three times, honestly, probably wouldn't be a problem for me. I could probably handle it. For the most part, I range between 1.75 to two times speed. So unless the author talks to the best this, um, three times wouldn't be a problem for me. So we'll just go for three times speed, but 0.5, that would, that would be like murder for me. Not doing it. <laughs> Number eight, would you rather only be able to read physically or only be able to listen to audiobooks? And I'm gonna have to go with physically, and that is just due to the fact that not every book that is made gets an audiobook. There have been tons of audiobooks, or not um, tons of audiobooks that I've like tried to find, like tons of books as an audiobook that I've tried to find that do not exist because it was not in the budget for them to be made. There are series where the first book got an audiobook, but two and three did not get an audiobook. So the book, the physical book, that exists. That's always going to exist unless they magically all disappear. I, I have more access to physical books than I do audio just because a bunch of them don't get audio. So easy answer for that one. Kind of long and drawn out though. Question number nine, would you rather be stuck reading a mix of three and four star books or read a mix of one and five star books? I'm going to go with three and four. And this is because in a world of ones and fives, I know my luck, I'd get mostly ones. I would. I would get mostly ones. <laughs> Whereas most of the books I read tend to fall between a three and a four. And I would rather have more books in that range than the possibility of maybe once every couple months, I get a super awesome five-star read. So that's where we're going with that one. Question number 10, would you rather only watch your favorite booktuber 
or watch everyone besides your favorite booktuber? I I would, ooh, that's a hard one because it, it, can it be like a list of favorite booktubers? Like, like three, like if I have like three top favorite booktubers, can I watch them? Like, <laughs> can I watch just those three favorites? Like, is there a limit? <laughs> um, oh gosh, uh, that's a hard one. Um, I think I would probably have to go with watch everyone besides, but then I'd have to pick which is that, which I would consider as that top favorite booktuber. And I'm just like, but if it's this one, I don't want to miss out on their content. But if it's this one, I don't watch everything. Like, like you have to think about that. And I'm just like, that's a mean question. That's a mean question. I don't like that question. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% with you guys. I don't like that question. I don't know how to pick. Uh, because, like, your favorite is your favorite for a reason. And then everyone else is just like, oh, well, I just watch them every once in a while. You know, and, like, there's plenty that I just don't bother to watch. Can there be a limit? If there's a limit of like how many favorites I can just continue watching, I'll pick that one. I don't know. I can't answer that one, guys. I can't. I, I can't. I cannot honestly answer that one because I do not know. <sighs> I guess if I had to watch everyone just so I get a variety. If you were forcing me to answer that, I guess I would go with watch everyone just so that there is some variety. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so that's that's all the questions. <laughs> um, tag is open for anyone who wants to do this. So if you are watching this and you're like, hey, I can answer those questions, go run, do it. Go answer these questions and struggle like I did on that last one because how do you answer that question? <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. Just a fun, quick tag for you guys to watch. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.